Hello everyone, so I am officially in college now, so I will no longer be um, in Topeka, Kansas. I will now be in Boston. So, um, video-wise, I will have to say I need to cut back on some of the videos, so it's probably going to be once a week kind of thing, instead of the, the usual... Um, once every now and then. I know, I know my, my posting schedules are kind of irregular anyway, and um, unfortunately there aren't as many insects available here in Massachusetts, so I do have a lot of videos saved that I'm going to be uploading. Um, I will try and make as many videos as possible um, from stuff I see around here on campus, or possibly off of campus, though that's still questionable. There are a lot of insects around, it's just that um, the diversity is significantly less than that of, um, of Topeka, Kansas. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, anyway, there are some things that uh, I kind of want to show right now, and let's get to it. So here are some of the arachnids and insects that I brought to be uh, to, to be you from Topeka, Kansas. Uh, you might actually recognize some of these. They're all floating and rubbing alcohol, so obviously they're dead. And I basically put them in these little uh, airtight food storage containers, and I do have a label on top. Uh, and I'm going to be giving these to the biology department, um, and I just wanted to do that since I honestly have no use for them anymore. Uh, my research for them is going to pretty much be finished. I mean, I'm going to do a little bit here and there, but the majority of these individuals are um, still fairly intact, and they do, I mean, they did play... A pretty interesting role in my uh, in my life. So, uh, included in this group uh, are two Tigrosa grandis wolf spiders, and those I actually helped out a little bit with uh, with Bug Guide and and their Tigrosa grandis page. But I can't take all the credit for it, obviously. But um, I, I helped out a little bit, and that was a, that was a great great honor. So what we're going to do is we're going to be giving these away and uh, the species that we have um, aren't really that particular. This is uh, the admirable grasshopper. Fortunately I only have two females and also another problem with, uh, with this setup is the fact that they are soaking in alcohol so for some of the insects that could cause discoloration I do not suggest you preserve insects in rubbing alcohol unless you absolutely have to. Uh, unfortunately for me, I don't know why I had these preserved. I have a lot of them pinned, but I didn't want to bring the entire box over, so I just brought uh, the ones that I had soaking in alcohol over. Now, as for the spiders, you kind of have to soak them in alcohol because if you try to pin them, it just does not end up well. I know some people that have success uh, successfully done it, but I have not. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to show you some of the stuff that I have here. Uh, this is Rabidosa punctulata, uh, male and female. The bigger one is the female, and the smaller one's the male. Uh, that is a train outside. Lovely. Uh, the second thing that I'm also going to donate to the biology department is this right here, which is a hog, oh, a pair of Hogna carolinensis, a very old female that I had, and um, the a, a male that I actually have. This this here uh, to the right is the male. Uh, he was the one that I featured quite a few times in my uh, in my videos. I, I I believe that was the yeah, actually, that I, I know for sure that is the male that um, grew really old and had trouble catching his own food. So that was the male. Uh, this over here is the pair of Tigrosa grandis. I have the seven-legged male in here along with uh, the female. 
Um, and over here I have the wrinkle, a pair of wrinkled grasshoppers. Um, Melanopolis differentialis, the differential grasshopper. This is a pair of them. Again, I do not suggest you keep them out in alcohol, but uh, I had to make some sacrifices here. Uh, if the if BU's department, uh, bio department doesn't want them, I'll actually take them back. But <laughs> uh, Tagrosa georgicola, this is unfortunately I didn't have a male available. I had one male, but I didn't want to kill him, so I actually let that male go. But um, this is a pair of females that I caught last June, and yeah, along with uh, last but not least, the admirable grasshoppers again. So this is just what I'm going to donate, and um, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this short video. I know I've been kind of a little bit lackluster on, on material, and I know it's going to get really busy here for me. So just bear with me. I will put out new videos. It's just that they might not be as, as common as they used to. It's going to be probably a once a week thing. And I uh, hope you, uh, you all subscribers and non-subscribers will uh, enjoy my content and continue to do so, despite the fact that I'm no longer in Kansas, but in Massachusetts. So uh, without anything else, I'm probably about to head off to bed real soon. It's getting kind of late and I'm really tired. And I uh, got all my homework done, which is great. But, um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I hope to see you all later. And I hope uh, you enjoyed this short video. Cheers.